to kill the shark. Jaws, the 1975 thriller directed by Steven Spielberg, is adapted from Peter Benchley's 1974 novel. The film features Roy Scheider as Martin Brody, the police chief of a summer resort town who teams up with a marine biologist played by Richard Dreyfuss and a seasoned shark hunter portrayed by Robert Shaw. Together, they pursue a great white shark responsible for a series of deadly attacks on beachgoers. Released on June 20, 1975, Jaws not only became a cinematic sensation, but also instilled a deep-seated fear of the ocean in its audience. No. The 1975 film Jaws emerged from the creative adaptation of Peter Benchley's novel, which itself drew inspiration from real-life events. The novel was influenced by the terrifying shark attacks that occurred off the coast of New Jersey in 1916, a series of incidents that left communities on edge and highlighted the fearsome nature of sharks. Further inspiration was taken from a significant event in 1964 when a massive shark, weighing approximately 4,500 pounds, was captured in New York. These elements of reality provided a foundation for the fictional narrative of Jaws, a story that would captivate audiences with its thrilling portrayal of a great white shark's presence in the small resort town of Amity Island. The film's development from such factual occurrences underscores the blend of real-world fears with the gripping suspense of cinematic storytelling. Jaws became a pivotal moment in film history, setting the standard for future thrillers and establishing the summer blockbuster phenomenon. In the development of the 1975 film Jaws, Peter Benchley explored various titles that evoked the terror and mystery of the ocean's depths. He considered the stillness in the water and the silence of the deep, which suggest a lurking danger beneath a calm surface. Another option was the Jaws of Death, directly hinting at the peril awaiting the characters. Ultimately, Benchley chose the succinct and now famous title Jaws, a title that not only encapsulates the essence of the film's menacing antagonist, but also became synonymous with cinematic suspense and adventure. This title perfectly captured the film's central theme, the primal fear of being hunted by an unseen predator in the vast and unforgiving sea. Kill this animal, or you're gonna cut off its food supply. Larry, we have to close the beaches. Brody? In the suspenseful thriller Jaws, released in 1975, Peter Benchley, the author of the novel from which the film is adapted, appears on screen in a brief role. Drawing from his experience as a former news reporter for the Washington Post, Benchley portrays a newspaper reporter in the movie. This appearance connects the worlds of journalism and storytelling as Benchley's character is seen reporting on the shark attacks that plague the seaside community of Amity Island. His role, though small, serves as a nod to his contribution to the story that has captivated audiences and become a classic in the horror genre. Steven Spielberg was selected as the director for the film Jaws based on his previous directorial venture Duel. Duel showcased Spielberg's ability to create suspense and tension by focusing on an ordinary man's encounter with a terrifying unseen truck driver. This experience was instrumental in proving Spielberg's skill in handling the themes of fear and unseen danger which are central to Jaws. The film involves a great white shark that preys upon a small resort town and the voyage of three men trying to kill it. Spielberg's direction in Jaws was pivotal in effectively capturing the fear of the unknown, similar to how he directed the suspenseful encounters in Duel. His approach to storytelling, character development, and building suspense through the unseen threat of the shark led to Jaws becoming a significant success and a classic in the thriller genre. In the 1975 film Jaws, the representation of the shark is a significant aspect of its storytelling and suspense building. The mechanical shark, which was nicknamed Bruce, was plagued with technical difficulties throughout the production. This led to the shark not being shown in full for the first 81 minutes of the movie. Director Steven Spielberg was compelled to adapt to these challenges, which inadvertently contributed to the film's tension and fear factor. Spielberg's techniques involved using the audience's imagination to instill fear by suggesting the shark's presence rather than showing it. 
This approach allowed for a focus on character development and the human response to the shark's unseen threat. The delayed visual reveal of the shark maximized the impact of its eventual appearance, making it one of the most memorable moments in cinematic history. The production of the film, Jaws encountered significant technical difficulties that severely impacted the filming schedule. The mechanical shark, designed and constructed to be the central terror of the film, proved to be particularly problematic. Its frequent malfunctions led to numerous delays. Consequently, the original shooting schedule of 65 days ballooned to 159 days, not accounting for additional time spent in post-production. These challenges necessitated changes on the fly and demanded a great deal of adaptability from the entire cast and crew. Despite these obstacles, the film was completed and went on to achieve critical and commercial success, becoming a pivotal moment in cinematic history. In the 1975 thriller Jaws, the mechanical shark presented a formidable presence on screen. This pneumatic-powered predator, constructed to bring the terror of the deep to life, weighed 1-2 tons and stretched an imposing 25 feet in length. Director Steven Spielberg gave this animatronic leviathan, a nickname Bruce, a personal touch as it was named after his lawyer Bruce Raymer. The creation of Bruce was a significant technical achievement at the time, representing the fearsome great white shark that would become a central character in the film's narrative. Its realistic appearance and movements were crucial in delivering the suspense and horror that Jaws is known for, making it a pivotal element in the history of special effects in cinema. In the casting process for the character of Hooper in the 1975 film Jaws, director Steven Spielberg had several actors in mind before Richard Dreyfuss was ultimately selected for the role. Initially, Spielberg reached out to John Voight, Timothy Bottoms, and Jeff Bridges to portray the young marine biologist. However, these actors were either unavailable or chose not to accept the part. The search continued until Richard Dreyfuss, who had previously worked with Spielberg on the film American Graffiti, was cast. Dreyfus brought a unique energy and depth to the character of Hooper, contributing significantly to the dynamic between the main characters and the overall tension and drama of the film's narrative. His portrayal is remembered as a defining feature of the movie, contributing to its success and lasting popularity. And I swam back to shore, and when I was on the beach, I turned around and I actually saw my boat. In the casting process for the character Quint in the 1975 film Jaws, the producers initially considered actors Lee Marvin and Sterling Hayden for the role. However, neither was ultimately selected. Instead, Robert Shaw, known for his strong screen presence and acting skills, was recommended by the producers and cast in the role. Shaw's portrayal of Quint, the grizzled shark hunter, became one of the film's most memorable performances, contributing significantly to the tension and drama of the story. His interpretation of the character added depth to the film, making Quint not just a mere shark hunter, but a man with a personal vendetta against the creature, providing a compelling narrative thread that resonated with audiences. Maybe I should go alone. In the 1975 film Jaws, a particular scene was removed from the final cut. The scene involved the character Quint, who disrupts a movie theater. The disruption occurs during the screening of Moby Dick. The decision to remove this scene came about because Gregory Peck, the actor who held the rights to the Moby Dick film, did not give permission for its use in Jaws. The scene's exclusion was necessary to comply with copyright laws and respect the rights held by Peck. Consequently, audiences never saw the moment where Quint's character, known for his seafaring ways and obsession with sharks, created a commotion during a film that parallels his own life's pursuit. The 1975 film Jaws underwent a change in its Motion Picture Association of America film rating. Originally classified as restricted, indicating that persons under 17 would require accompanying parent or adult guardian, the film's rating was later revised to parental guidance. This adjustment was made after certain explicit scenes were excised from the final cut. Despite this alteration, the film retained several intense sequences involving shark attacks, which contributed to its widespread appeal and significant impact on audiences. 
The reclassification allowed for a broader audience, enabling younger viewers to experience the suspense and thrill of the movie, which has since become a seminal work in the thriller genre. Jaws set a precedent for future films dealing with similar subject matter, balancing the depiction of violence with accessibility to ensure a wide reach and cultural significance. The film Jaws, released in 1975, directed by Steven Spielberg, quickly became a monumental success in the history of cinema. It set a new standard for box office performance, being the first movie to surpass the $100 million mark in gross revenue. This achievement was unprecedented at the time and established Jaws as the highest grossing film, a record it held until the release of Star Wars in 1977. The financial success of Jaws played a significant role in shaping the modern blockbuster era, demonstrating the potential for films to achieve massive commercial success through wide distribution and extensive marketing. Its impact on the film industry was profound, influencing the strategies used to release and promote movies for decades to come. Don't you tell me my business again. You get back on the bridge. That doesn't prove a damn thing. Well, it proves one thing. The filming of the opening scene of Jaws, a pivotal moment that sets the tone for the entire film, was a meticulous process that spanned three days. Susan Backlany, cast as the unfortunate first victim of the shark, delivered a performance that was heightened by the element of surprise. The mechanical unpredictability of her harness, which simulated the shark's attacks, elicited authentic reactions from Backlany. This authenticity was crucial as it immersed the audience in the terror of an unseen underwater threat. The scene's raw and visceral nature was achieved through a combination of mechanical effects, Backlany's acting, and the director's vision, resulting in a memorable and terrifying opening that effectively introduced the film's central menace. In the 1975 film Jaws, Susan Backlany delivered a performance that was highly regarded for its realism. Her portrayal in the opening scene set a chilling tone for the movie as she played the role of the shark's first victim. Despite the physical demands of the scene, involving a harness that simulated the shark's attack, there were rumors suggesting that her genuine expressions of fear and pain were due to actual injuries sustained during filming. However, these claims were unfounded. Backlany's convincing acting contributed significantly to the film's suspenseful atmosphere, making the unseen threat of the shark all the more terrifying. Her work in this pivotal scene has been recognized as a key factor in the film's success, demonstrating the power of performance to evoke strong emotions and reactions from the audience. Where are we? We're right in the stretch where he's been feeding. In the aftermath of her role in the 1975 film Jaws, Susan Backlany encountered legal challenges. She was charged with battery in 2020 and had previously faced a driving under the influence charge in 2019 following a car accident. These incidents marked a departure from her earlier career in the entertainment industry, where she was known for her performance in the iconic shark attack scene of Jaws. The legal issues that arose in the latter part of her life are separate from her professional achievements, but have nonetheless become a part of her public record. The film Jaws, released in 1975, had a significant effect on its audience, leaving many with a lasting fear of the ocean. This reaction was not limited to the time of its release. Over the years, Jaws has maintained its status as a cinematic classic. The movie's influence extended beyond entertainment, altering public perception of sharks and ocean safety. Its success also set a new standard for thrillers, particularly in the genre of horror and it played a pivotal role in establishing the concept of the summer blockbuster. Jaws' ability to evoke such a strong emotional response from viewers contributed to its long-standing position in film history. <laughs>